Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I'm offended. I'm offended by my friends on the other side of the political aisle saying this is political theater. This is not political theater. For me, this is serious. I spent nine and a half years as an undercover officer in the CIA. I was the guy in the back alleys collecting intelligence, passing it to lawmakers. I've seen my friends killed. I've seen assets put themselves in harm's way. And this is about protecting information, the most sensitive information the American government has. And I wish my colleagues would take this a little bit more seriously. Mr. Comey, Director Comey, excuse me. SAP, Special Access Program, you alluded to earlier, that includes SCI information. Does SCI information include HUMINT and SIGINT? Yes. HUMINT and SIGINT, human intelligence, information collected from people that are putting themselves in harm's way to give us information to drive foreign policy. Signals intelligence, some of the most sensitive things to understand what Al-Qaeda is doing, what ISIS is doing. So, the former Secretary of State had an unauthorized server, and those are your, your words, in her basement, correct? Correct. Who was protecting that information? Who was protecting that server? Well, not much. Uh, there was a number of different people who were assigned as administrators of the server. And at least seven emails, chains, or eight, that ha was classified as TSSCI. Correct. So the former Secretary of State, one of the president's most important advisors on foreign policy and national security had a server in her basement that had information that was collected from our most sensitive assets and it was not protected by anyone. And that's not a crime? That's outrageous. People are concerned. What does it take for someone to misuse classified information and get in trouble for it? Oh, it takes uh, mishandling it and criminal intent. <laughs> and so an unauthorized server in the basement is not mishandling. Well, no, there is, there is evidence of mishandling here. The question, this whole investigation at the end focused on is there sufficient evidence of intent? Whereas there was this unanimous opinion within the FBI on your decision. Well, the whole FBI wasn't involved, but the team of agents, investigators, uh, analysts, technologists, yes. Did you take into any consideration the impact that this precedence can set on our ability to collect into the intelligence overseas? Yes. My primary concern is the impact on what other employees might think in the federal government. And you don't think this sends a message to other employees that if the former Secretary of State can have an unauthorized server in their basement that transmits top secret information, that that's not a problem? Oh, I worry very much about that. That's why I talked about that in my statement, because an FBI employee might face severe discipline, and I want them to understand that those consequences are still going to be there. Uh, Director Comey, do you have a um, server in your basement? I do not. Does anybody in the FBI have a server in their basement or in their, in their house? I, I don't know. Not, not to Do you think mind. it's likely? I think it's unlikely. I would think so too. You know, I would think so too. Because I'm, I've been proud to serve alongside uh, the men and women that you you represent. So there was no dissenting opinion when you made this decision. Um, it's your job to be involved in counterintelligence as well. Right? Yes. So that means protecting our secrets from um, foreign adversaries collecting them. That, is that correct? Correct. Did this activity you investigated make America's secrets vulnerable to hostile elements? Yes. Do you think that pattern of behavior would continue? I'm sorry, I missed the line. Do you think that pattern of behavior would continue? Would continue? In, in, no. by, by our former Secretary of State. I, I'm not following you. mean if we hadn't, if this had not come to light, you mean? Right now, based on what we see, do you think there's going to be other elements within the federal government that think it's okay to have an unauthorized server in their basement? Well, they better not. That's one of the reasons I'm talking about so, it. So, but what, what is the ramifications of, of them doing that? It, what is the, what is, you know, how is there going to be any consequences levered if it's not being levered here? Because, indeed, this is, you're setting a precedent. Yeah, the, the precedent, I want people to understand, again, I only am, am responsible for the FBI, that there will be discipline from termination 
to reprimand and everything in between for people who mishandle classified information. Director Comey, I'm not a lawyer, and so I may misstate this. Is there such a thing as the case of first impression? And why was this not possibly one of those? There is such a thing, which just means the first time you do something. Uh, the reason this isn't one of those is that's just not fair. That would be treating somebody differently because of their celebrity status or because of some other fact that doesn't matter. We have to treat people. It's the bedrock of our system of justice. We treat people fairly. We treat them the same based on their and, and that person mishandling the most sensitive information that this government can collect is, is not fair? It's not fair to punish someone who did that? Not on these facts. It would be fair. That person worked for me. It would be fair to have a robust disciplinary proceeding. It's not fair to prosecute that person on these facts. I thank, thank Mr. You, Chairman, I yield back the time I do not have. Thank you. Thank